Hello, this is Craig, and I've made some progress on the comb your own hair uh, uh, thing for players to make their own hair. And it's still very rough, and I'm using line renders, which is why they kind of crawl as the camera angle changes. That won't happen once they're meshes. It only happens because they're, they're line renders, which aren't proper meshes. Um, but I'll go back to using meshes at some point. Now, uh, this is a very stiff hair that I'm using. Uh, you can change all of the parameters, and you can also change the length. So here, let's go ahead and lengthen the hair. If you lengthen the hair, it doesn't spring quite as much. So now I can't get it to stand up nearly as easily. Oh, ah, there we go. I got a few little springy anime hair bits. Uh, now, obviously, this is just a very early uh, prototype. Lots of work left to do before it feels right. But you can see how it can... Um, it can start to seem quite right in terms of how it would feel to make your own character. And uh, you can change the parameters of the hair as well. I was using a pretty rigid hair. Let's go ahead and use a real soft hair. Like that. So the much softer hair doesn't spring up uh, I don't even think I can make it spring up even if I try, um, whereas the other one would spring up without me trying at all. Um, the other one was more of the sort of thing you might have if you have really curly hair, so when it was converted over into meshes it would be uh, very kinked and curly rather than this kind of straight demo hair that I'm using. But uh, uh, there are a couple of limitations to this the way I'm doing it now, and one of them is that it's really hard to comb up and over, um, which I know that some hairstyles do. Uh, you can get apart pretty easily, but as you can see, it uh, it doesn't like to... Uh, oh, I did it! Uh, it's actually quite difficult to make it go up and over the head. Ah! Look at that. And the back of the head has these weird glitches that I haven't figured out yet. But all in all, for a first attempt, for something that I've only been working on for a day or two, um, I'm rather happy, and I'm just going to keep improving it from here. Uh, now, obviously, the number of fronds is a big issue. I think right now I've got 150, and when it comes back down to meshes, I'll be compressing that down to something much, much lower. Um, otherwise, you'll end up with the hair taking up the majority of the uh, meshes' uh, vertexes. The you know, the, the whole character's vertex budget will be spent on hair. Um, oh, I've driven it crazy. Yeah, as you can see, work left to do.